This is 61A lecture number one of spring 2015. Welcome to Berkeley Computer Science. I know for many of you this is your first computer science course on campus. I really hope you enjoy it. Berkeley Computer Science is housed in Soda Hall. My office is here and I'm John De Niro. My spring 2015 office hours are from 10 to 12 on Wednesday or Friday by appointment. Also from 10 to 12, go to deniro.org meet to set up an appointment. I'll see you there. I don't teach this class alone because there are a lot of students and so I get a lot of help. Now, I spend almost all of my time working with the course staff to make sure that this course is delivered as smoothly as possible. They're the real heroes of this course, who make everything happen day to day. They include the teaching assistants, who run discussion sections, labs, and office hours. There they all are. People who have taken this course, worked on this course, helped develop this course, and now teach this course. You can ask them questions about the course, of course, but you can also ask them about computer science in general, what courses to take in the future, what strategies to use to do well in this course, uh, what to do in your free time, anything you want. They are there to teach you. There are also 27 group tutors who are part of the course staff. They will be your personal programming mentors for the course, and I'll talk much more about them in the future. And then there are over 300 people who took this course before and are volunteering to be lab assistants as they learn how to be computer science instructors. Please keep in mind that the lab assistants have decided to spend some of their time helping you, so you should thank them when they do help you, and try not to be hard on them if they don't always know exactly how to help you instantaneously. Teaching takes time, problems take time to solve, and we all need to work together in order to make progress. Now, here are the parts of the course. There's lecture, but you don't actually have to go to lecture because I will be publishing videos like this one to the course website, cs61a.org, and these videos will always be published before each live lecture. So if you want to just watch the course on video, that's fine. You don't need to come to lecture. You do need to go to lab. Lab is the most important thing in this course. It's where you have a chance to try to solve problems with other people in the room to assist you, including your peers who are also in the course, the lab assistants, and the TAs. Discussion section is also the most important thing in this course. Discussion section is where you put down your computer for a while and think about how to solve problems just with pencil and paper, which is an extremely important skill in computer science because it stops you from just working through problems by trial and error and gets you to think through the whole problem before you start trying to write down the answer. If you can do this, programming is much more rewarding, much more fun, and much more productive. There are also office hours, which will start on Thursday of this week. They're also the most important thing in this course. They're the chance for you to come ask specific questions. Confused about something in lecture? Come to office hours. Can't solve a homework problem? Come to office hours. Want to discuss an extracurricular project that you're working on? Come to office hours. These are your chance to interact with the course staff who are so interested in making sure that you learn. Now, you might wonder why there are three different most important things in this course. Well, different things are important to different people. I can't tell you in advance which one's going to matter most to you. So you should try all three and figure out what helps you learn the best. There's an online textbook, composingprograms.com, and the course website links to chapters in composing programs for each day's reading. I do suggest that you do the reading before you watch the video. There will be weekly homework assignments, three exams, three quizzes, and four large programming projects. You need to do all of them and you're expected to complete everything, which is a lot of stuff to keep track of, so make sure you leave ample time for this course. In order to support you 
while you're trying to learn all this material, we have lots of special events, which I'll tell you about soon. Events that are supposed to help you solve the projects, solve the homeworks, master certain hard concepts, etc. So all of this is there in order to make sure that in one semester, you can learn a whole lot about computer science. Now, these videos are going to be available for every lecture in the course. But I'm not going to make a new video for every lecture. In fact, almost everything I'll say this semester is something that I've said before in a previous semester, and I've already made videos. So here's the deal. For everything that I'm going to say exactly the same way this semester that I did before, I'll just post an old video, which will either be from last fall or the spring before that. But for anything that I say that's new, even a little bit new, in live lecture, I'll make a new video so that the videos contain all of the contents in the live lecture. So that's the contract that I make with you. I'm not going to make all new videos, but I will make sure, I will guarantee that the video content is the same as the lecture content. So you can choose which one you like better. If you like videos because you can pause, because you can follow along on your computer, because you can play them at double speed, whatever it is, go ahead and watch the videos instead of coming to live lecture. I will try to make live lecture as interesting as possible. Some people will show up. I'll be there. So you're welcome to come to that too. But I just want to give you multiple options so that you can pick what works best for you in this course.